Bloodlust of 290 and today, as per request of one of my commenters, I will be showing how to install and run Windows on a Mac. We're going to be doing this via a virtual machine, which basically means that a program will create a separate computer on your machine and run, install and run a separate operating system off of that. This is a program called Parallels Desktop. It's a really great program. Uh, you can basically install any operating system you want, such as Windows, Chrome OS, Ubuntu, Android, anything pretty much. And you can link, um, there, I'll put the link to the website in the, um, in the description. The program itself costs 80 bucks. Unfortunately, um, so yeah, you have to pay 80 bucks for it. I can't give you anything to download it for free, because if I did that, YouTube would put a strike on my account and the video would get removed and it just wouldn't be worth it. But you can just try searching Parallels Desktop 10 download and see what you get. Wink wink. So I'm gonna show you so I'm gonna install Windows, a Windows virtual machine, Windows 8.1 Pro. And It will basically, if you if you use this option, it will basically um, pick up. In, it will basically uh, in, uh, detect whether you have a USB installed, or it will find any win, any operating system ISOs on your computer, and uh, just click continue. I just found these two things. I'm going to. Use this this one, or you can locate your 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 uh, Windows installer or your operating system installer manually. But I'm, I found it already. So here you insert the Windows product key. Sorry. And then here, you want to select what you will mainly be using in those four. And it's kind of annoying, it only selects one of, the, one of them. And I will select games. Because they use the most resource is I'm also going to be doing maybe doing some programming but this is the one I'll just select so and you can choose which one you want here I kind of like Windows 7 design a bit better than Windows 8, so I'm going to click this one. And you can choose to show this if you select this one, virtual machines will be used by other can be used by other machines on your Mac. And if you don't select this one, well it's pretty self-explanatory. You can also choose to customize settings for display installation and we'll go ahead and do that. It's and uh, 
up in here. You can choose what hardware you want to enable for this machine. Uh, you can... You can encrypt a virtual machine he in here. And... And, uh, if you want, you can also go ahead and, uh, can change this configuration here, which is useful because I'm planning to do games and maybe some programming with my Windows. So, yeah. Once you're done, you just click continue. And the Windows installation, Windows installation will, will, um, start. I've, uh, I think I already said this, but I'm installing Windows 8.1 Professional. And the Windows installation is now in progress. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch this, so I'll pause the video and we'll get back when, once it's done installing. So once it's done installing and setting up, it will automatically boot into the operating system you installed, and it should, at least for my Windows, it uh, use my computer's username. So, yeah, it seems to run pretty smoothly, um, I'm just, uh, using, I'm just, uh, using, a uh, normal, I'm just using a normal operating system right now, I'm not running any high tech, tech processes or anything, and, um, it seems to run pretty smoothly, so you can just press control and off to get back to your normal mouse, and, go to actions, you can uh, take a screenshot, snapshot, and uh, restart or shut down your machine. You can uh, manage what CD or DVD is connected to the virtual machine, and uh, you can also um, there's an option to free up disk space, which is useful, and also you can uh, Go to view. We can switch. You can enter full screen, or you can enter modology, which I'll show you. It basically enables you to use your operating system's programs, and and uh, in con so that, like they look like Mac programs. I'll try and show that to you. At least that's what it did in the older versions, but it doesn't seem to be doing that here. But anyway, I, that's about it. I'm, the link for this program will be in the description. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 2190, and I'm signing off.